So right here, you can see the. this is a beam that's been lowered. Um, this is the part I'm talking about. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I wanna take the, uh, this, right? I'm gonna place this in here like that. So I'll turn it around, made a mistake. Goes like that. And you can see it just sits there. And what the gymnasts will do is uh, they'll place their foot here and then they'll, they'll do their jumps, split jumps, like that. So that's what it looks like. I'll pull it out so you can see. Again, that's it. Like that. I added some screws right here just to make it a little stronger because this joint is going to get a lot of load. Right, so it looks like this again. And I added some screws here to make this butt joint a little stronger because this is a weak joint because of the nature of the plywood. What I would recommend you do next, if you're going to build this, use a solid piece of wood. Don't use plywood because the plywood's really weak this way. But it goes in like that. Slide that in there. They put their feet on there. Again, this is going to get a lot of load going that way. I don't recommend anybody going this way because it's just too weak, that side. All right. Put the foot here, and then just kick, 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 and that's it. Wow, that's cool. cool. Oh. Thank you. You see that? Did you do Come on, sir. Really good, at good. Let me see. Nice job. A little bent in the back, Sarah. What's that, Cindy? I have one here. This is much oh. better. It is better, right? Yeah, I thought so too. And I'm horrible by that, so. Alright, whatever. Do the best you can. <laughs> Looks great. <laughs> Thank you. That's a very great compliment. <laughs> Sarah. Audrey, <laughs> that's so amazing. Alright. Thanks, Coach Sarah. <laughs>
compound saw. You don't need a double, double bevel, you just need a compound saw. It has angles right here at the bottom. I'll, try to, I'll zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. See those right there? Those angles right there are the angles that you can use to figure out the angle of your saw. To back it out again. So what I did, I took my sacrificial piece of wood and I went like this. I just kept on cutting and cutting and cutting. I started off at, at like 55 degrees because I knew it wasn't 45 degrees because I would get an equilateral triangle. And um, I just kept on cutting. And then what I figured out was this is the angle that the, that the beam is on. Just like that. Okay? That angle happens to be 56 degrees, which is pretty convenient because that's where my saw stops at. It can't, can't go any further because there's a bolt here that holds the saw down. So it could actually could go a little further. It can go all the way up to uh, 60 degrees that way. So that bolt right there kind of stops it. It's just pure coincidence. So that's what you do, right? Until you get the uh, get the size that you want, the angle that you want. So what I need to do is uh, I need to take, I need to build up my uh, plywood. I need to make it thick because, you know, the leg of a of a person's going to be on this jig pushing down. So it needs to be somewhat robust. So I need to the 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 beam is two inches wide, right? So what I'm gonna do, uh, the beam support part is two inches wide. The beam in general is, uh, if, they're, if, they're, if it's a universal thing, which I think it is, because why would you not make it universal? Uh, if you're gonna have a governing body that governs gymnastics, they should probably standardize things, right? So it's two inches in width. So what I want to do now, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna mark uh, I'm gonna mark two. This is two inches in width. Uh, the support, the beam itself, is, is usually like four four inches wide. So I'm gonna go like this. Here's my um, two inch mark. A line right here. Okay, so you can see right here, it's a little hard to see, but there's a little bit of issue I'm having with the wood not being true on this side. So I'm going to try on this side over here and see what we get. So I'm going to do two inches here again. Draw another line. Okay, this side looks true to me. That's not a good side, so I'm gonna not worry about that side. So what I did, right? I did from here to here. It's it's two inches. So from here to here. Can you see that? Right here, two inches. Right, and then I'm going to cut this. Um, I'm going to cut this a little bit larger than two inches, so just so I can. Um, when I glue this together, I'll have a. Um, I'll have just a little bit of extra room to slide the jig into place. So it's going to be like two inches, maybe two inches and one sixteenth of an inch, a little wider. So I'm going to do three cuts like that and then I'm going to glue them together.
So I know how exciting this can be to watch me struggle, try to glue this together. So what I did, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna keep it real time so you can see. So what I do is uh, I set up how I'm gonna clamp it first before I start to glue it together. So I'm gonna put those two on the outside like that. Those two on top, and then these two in front, okay? So here we go. So like that, that, and that, right? I'm going to take my little piece of wood here, flip it like this. Do the same on this side. I really need to buy some more glue. It's getting pathetic. But I use it fast enough. And then this happens. So, set that up like that, like that. All right, so this sticks onto this, this sticks onto this. I got my bucket with warm water down here so I can clean up as I go along. Just like that. All right. Now we're going to Side clamps down like this. Okay. So I'm going to clamp top first. So I think that's going to give me a little bit of a better uh, starting point. I won't make it too too tight, just tight enough to like hold it down. Okay. And then I'm going to pull it in.
not too tight yet. I'm going to take this and put this on top to push this down to keep this flat also on this side. Okay, perfect. Again, it's not too, too tight. I just need to like push it down. Okay, so what's that's there? I start to put on some real pressure on this now. Now I'm going to feel a little more down pressure, not too much. Again, the ends are really important. So. So that's it. So it's all nice and tight. Um, hope you enjoyed your last seven minutes and 58 seconds. This is the piece. Um, it's all, uh, should be all nice and dry now. I'm gonna go ahead and, um, I'm gonna go ahead and take these clamps off so you can see it. Struggle is real. All right, so this is it. Send some some stuff that glued together. So this is the uh, three three pieces thick. So what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take take the template, and I'm going to cut it like that. All right, and uh, just two inches wide right here. Let's go do that right now. So here is the uh, piece set up, uh, the <clears throat> template. I'm going to clean that off just a little bit there. Okay. And uh, that's the cut that we're going to do, like that. That's the angle, if that matches. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to cut it like that. Sorry. I want... 
this is my two inches, so I had to keep it that wide. And I need to cut on this side, like that. All right, so that's, go ahead and make that cut right now. the first cut. Right, the next cut we're going to do, so that matches this angle here. And we want to take this piece now, turn it around like this. Mm, no, sorry. More like this. So you can see I'm just lining it up right here. And then I'm gonna push it back some. Just a little bit like that. Well, that looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a good cut. So there you go. So now I have a piece like that. See, and that matches. This matches the uh, the dimensions that I used for the template, and then now I got to like extend this a little bit on that side, so that way we can have some uh, some lips. On, uh, <clears throat> sorry, I'll extend it on this side so we can have a lip. All right. So now that we have the piece um, <clears throat> cut, what's going to happen is this side right here. I can't. Nothing's. It's a little wider. It's four inches wider, the metal part. It's on this side over here. It's, uh, it's only two inches. So I'm gonna cut a piece of wood on both sides, extend this out. So it kinda like grabs onto it just a little bit. That's the goal of this. So let's see what happens. So what I've done here is place the uh, template just to get the diameter, I mean, I'm sorry, um, the, the width of the piece of wood I need to cut so I can stick it onto this side. So, so I use this to line it up, right? And then what I'll do, I'll take a, uh, this is what I'm gonna cut from, right? And I'm going to, uh, I could do a cut like this. Possibly, because I don't need a lot just to glue it onto the end of this. But actually, this this is actually pretty, this is pretty um, wide. So what I'll do, just to uh, save myself the hassle, is do a rip cut like this, and that should be uh, that should make it um, considerably better. So go ahead, and we're gonna line this up. So I'm gonna go like that. Put that back. These are. Um, I'm using these to try to uh, minimize kickback. Uh, if, ever, if you know what kickback is, kickback is when the piece flies backwards and hits you in the stomach. It really, really hurts. So, all right, so that's set. Uh, go ahead and um, rip cut that, and then that should be good. All right, let's do it.
the piece that I just cut is going to glue on to the end like that. Right? And um, what I want to do is, uh, I don't want to go too, too far, too far off. It's kind of like one to, to extend a little bit because the piece of metal that, that's here that goes like this, it just, it just sticks out just a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I just want to, I'm going to cut this off right here, do it on both sides and then just uh, glue it onto this and that's it. That's, that's the end of that and we'll wrap it up with, um, initially I was going to just make it one long piece like this. But then at the end of the day, it doesn't really need to be that long. It just needs to be right here. So, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. Cut it like that, leave leave that much hanging out. Let me see, how much is that much? Uh, I think, let's do like two inches. So, I'll do like uh, from here to here. Two inches. Yeah, like that. Around, uh, around two inches. See, so that's what that's going to be from here to here. Okay. And uh, I guess. We need to go back far enough to there, so it looks like some around here. It's beginning to look like eight inches would be good, because I'll just get far back here enough. Because what I'll do, I'll glue it down, and I'll also screw it down. So. Eight inches should be plenty fine. All right, so we're gonna do an eight inch cut from here to here with the two inches sticking out right here. This is the piece that I'm gonna cut the eight inches from here to here and two inches there. So I'm just gonna put this back to uh, zero degrees. Yeah. Set this up. I'm gonna do a batch cut so to make that easier for myself. I'm going to use um, a piece of wood like this so that way I don't have to reposition it. I get the same length each time. That's good. Good and tighten down the um, my blocks, my stop block like that. I'm gonna do two cuts, so it's pretty easy. These are the two end pieces. I'm going to now glue them together and then I'm also going to screw them together. So I'm going to clamp this down and uh, glue them together. So this is the next thing we're going to do right now. So what I've done, this is how I'm going to clamp it. So I set it up already in advance so I can know what to do when I get my clamps. Um, If you look closely right here, you'll see that I have lines um, right there and here. It's gonna, I marked those on top so I can know where to put the, um, the, the edge of the piece. So like when I glue it together. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put some glue on this. Right, see those lines right there? And that, that tells me that all, all the glue is going to go this way, from the top. 
There'll be some I'll have to wipe out because of the, um, whatever. You'll see. That's done. Now what I'll do is uh, go ahead and clap this together now. So my hot water and bucket with the rag down here so I can clean up the mess the glue makes. So I'll mark it a little bit more here. Alright, so now that they're both in place, I can actually use another uh, another thing like this just to line it up. So that's that. We'll put this here on the side like that. This one's going to go on top because I just need to kind of um, hold the piece down. Tight because I'm not uh, I'm not clamping down. I'm just holding it in place. And what I'll do now is uh, actually, you know what I need to do. Actually, I should probably get something a little wider. This is why I should push it down some. So I'm gonna go like that. Push that down a little bit, just to get that flat. Now I'll take this piece here. And I'll push this down, just to get this flat. Take this here.
it's a nice tight clamp. Probably do one more clamp because I'm a little, little, um, little interested in trying to make this as, as tight as possible. So I'll go here. Alright, so that's good. Let that sit and uh, we are good to go. Uh, I tested this yesterday and uh, it works really nice. Um, there were some problems though. As the gymnasts I pushed down on it, it would kind of slide out. I thought that this lip would take this would take care of up, um, but it's just not enough to hold on to it. So I'm gonna have to do today, I'm gonna take another piece like this. And then I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna glue, glue two pieces together onto the edge, make it a little thicker, have a little lip right here. And this is gonna clamp down on the other side and then that should take care of this the sliding that's happening. So this is the piece, the two pieces that I just cut. Um, I'm just gonna glue them together like that. And then what I will do, I'm going to cut off some off the edge right here and then glue this side onto that side. Do the same thing over here and then glue it on that side. And then um, and that should be it. All right, so you already know how to glue stuff together because you saw me glue three pieces together, these three. So I'm just gonna do the same thing for these two. Clamp it, squeeze it together, and that's it. And then we'll continue from there. This is the piece that I glued together. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, it's got a little bit of a lip on the ends. The ends were not uh, lined up that well. So I know, I've know i noticed that as I move towards the center, a little bit flatter, so I'm going to cut off a little bit off the ends, and then I'm going to use that much to um, to make the uh, the rest of the project, right? So here we go. So I don't need this. Right. So I'm just going to go ahead and look at it. I'm just going to see like right around where, right around where it kind of like gets a little wonky, right? So right here. So I'm going to cut that off. And then right here on this side, I 
think I think I like ray hair gets a little too wonky for me. Right, so this is my part I'm gonna cut off. Same thing, that side and this side. All right, so here we go. That's it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, like I said, datto out the bottom of these right here, and then glue glue them onto the uh, the other piece. What I've done now, I've marked this so you can see how uh, the uh, what's gonna happen. So um, two inches in from the ends, here to here is two inches, right? That's because. It's going to be like that. So right here, starting from here, back is going to be glued on to this, like that. Okay, that's what the two inches for. I'm going to do one on this side and one on that side. Okay, the next part, right, I need to remove, so it's easier to see on this side. It's harder to see, but whatever. I have to remove from the two inches on out to here, this line right here. I need to remove all the material underneath right here, up to one inch from here to here. So from here to here, I'm sorry, this line right here, from here to here, I need to remove one inch of material. And if, uh, if that goes well, this should be glued onto it, and then that should brace the piece, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and datto out. I keep this as one big piece because then when I cut it, flip it over, just keep doing it, do it, and do it until I get all the way down. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. So the table saw already has a, uh, a dado, not a bit, I keep saying bit, I'm sorry. I'm accustomed to routing. Um, it's a dado blade, right? So I know that I'm never gonna go past two inches, and I know that I need to remove one inch from the bottom of this. So what I'm gonna do right, is set I'm going to set this to the furthest this can ever get to, which is right here. Yeah. Okay? So what will happen is, as I cut this, so whatever I do here on this side, I'll turn it around and do the same on that side. And I'll just keep going and going and going and going until I get to right there. Alright? Really simple, really easy. Um, not a big deal. Just takes a little bit of patience. I'll show you what one cut looks like. I'm not gonna. Um, I'm not gonna do sh record all of them. You just need to replicate it over and over and over again, and um, until you're uh, you've you've completely removed all the material that you need to remove. All right. So. Okay, that's a little too tight. You want it to be a. Just a little bit more flexible. Just have to pass this back and forth. Just want to loosen this up a little bit. This is a little tricky because you don't want to you don't want to tighten them too much. We don't want to be too loose, so I'm gonna need a little, another piece of wood just to slide underneath there, so I can get my uh, my depth a little better on the other side. Okay, so this is the same, uh, roughly the same height as this.
Oops. Ah, oh, the joys of watching me do this. I know. Get the popcorn, people. All right. So I need to speed up just a little bit. Because this needs to be just enough so I can pass it through without too much conflict. All right, that's good. Yeah, that's better. All right, good. Just needs to make sure it doesn't flip up, you know, kick back. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and start cutting those out. So you can see here, that's all it's doing. Just keep doing that all the way until you get to that line and you're done. So it looks like did a good job there. See all those pieces right there? So that's what it's going to look like. I'm going to cut that off right there. Alright, so just finish it off. Get a chisel like that. Let's go ahead and like, you know, get those little extra pieces off like that. You can use a router, like I said, to do this, or um, you could just use a regular table saw bit. I mean, table saw blade. It's going to take a little longer because the, the width of the blade is really what what's, what consumes time. It's not wide enough. So that's it. And then we cut that there, cut that there, and then we just glue it onto that and uh, wish for the best. So I have my stop guard right here. Um, this is where it's going to cut that line, and then um, everything should be pretty good moving forward. So I'm just going to put on my glasses. And that's it. So those two pieces right there will be glued onto the end of the other part. Alright, let's do it. 
So here we have the final setup. I'm not going to glue video me gluing this and clamp this. You know how to do that already. You've seen me do it multiple times. Um, so this is going to be glued onto this side. This is going to be glued onto this side. Like that. Okay, and then we're done. We're done that part, at least. This is how I've clamped it. I've taken two pieces of wood, push it down, both pieces on the side. And then I just took one clamp across the middle like that. And that's super complicated, um, but it does what it needs to do, keeping it flat and leveled and pushed in so it's nice and tight. So I thought about this some more and um, I don't know. It feels to me, right, that um, because this joint in general is a really weak joint, these are just butt joints. Um, not only do I have a butt joint, but I also have a piece of the joint cut out. My concern is, right, that this joint right here, this part's going to fail, right? Just from a little bit of excessive usage. Um, now, what I can do, right, um, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to augment this a little bit. I'm gonna have a heavy duty side. Um, this would be the side that the kids are usually stepping on, facing the beam. This side we very solemnly use because there's another beam right here. So, I'm gonna make this a little bit stronger by adding another layer of wood onto it. Just to, you know, I'm just trying to like, um, make this a little bit more durable, all right? So that's what I'm going to do right now. So this is what I have to do to clamp it down. I uh, This one across the top just to keep it flat and leveled. This clamp here, piece of wood across. And then I have to slide some pieces of wood in between. So because the space is a little weird, I have to find some small pieces to make that size as close as possible. Because it's one inch, I don't have anything that's really just directly one inch. Everything is like three fourths of an inch. So I slide them in between there. I have a sacrificial piece of wood here on the outside, so I'm going to mar the piece. Put the clamp on the uh, sacrificial piece of wood that's also creating a space. I squeeze it together here. Now, if I didn't have this here and I clamped down here, I'd be concerned about breaking the, breaking the joint. So that's why the piece is in between, because this pressure right here it's gonna go against it, but I just wanted to make sure that it doesn't bend it, you know. So I have some sac some uh, scrap woods on, on the wood on this side, and I also have a piece of wood in between here just to keep the space again because it's one inch. I don't want it to like break the joint here. All right, so that's how you do it. And uh, once that's done, this should be the stronger side. So if you're gonna have a lot of people use it, I would use it from this side. Um, you can use it from both sides, but I would recommend using it from the stronger side. Or do the same thing here, over here. It's up to you, alright? I'm going to remove the clamps now, so let's see what it looks like. So here it is. So this side is going to be the side that I recommend. Oh yeah, that's so much. That's just way, way stronger. Okay, so I, I would say if you're going to use this for a long time, I would do the same thing on both sides. It's 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 like way better. It doesn't even matter how big of a gymnast. That's going to sustain the weight. Um, I'd also probably do something like maybe screw two screws in right here, just, you know, right down there, just because of the, uh, again, this is a butt joint, it doesn't really have a lot of strength, 
All right, so the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to, uh, i got to soften this up because people's feet are going to go right here. So I'm going to use my router and uh, curve out the edges right here just so we can have a little um, a softer experience for the gymnast. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to route out the outsides right here just to make the ends a little bit softer and that will allow the gymnast to step on it and not feel any pain. And also, if anybody falls on it, shouldn't poke them too hard. All right, so let's do it. All right, there you have it. You have the, um, it's like it's smooth and nice now. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and um, sand this down, just you know, make it even softer. And I think, I think that's it. I think we should have a nice safe apparatus to add to the repertoire of things that you have available to help gymnasts with very specific skills and things that they have a hard time doing. And one of them is keeping that back leg high and straight. 
and then when they do those jumps and leaps. Okay, so this should help a lot. That's what it looks like. It looks like a pitchfork or something like that, I don't know. A little futuristic. All right, cool. So go ahead and sand it and then uh, give it a test and that should be it.